Welcome to my YouTube channel. Before we proceed with today's topic, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. That is Aida Muzati. Also, just hit on the notification button so that you're notified every time I upload a video. Once again, I am Aida Muzati, a health and science journalist. And with the help of our experts, I have informed you on matters health. We are still continuing with our series that is uh, on issues to do with our family planning. And once again, I am at Janice Medical and Cancer Hospital in Nairobi. And I'm still with our nurse uh, Felista. And together we're just going to learn more about different family planning methods. Today, we do the long-term family planning methods. Felista, over to you. Thank you. All right. Um, my name is Afelista, mm -hmm. as you've just heard. Mm -hmm. uh, today we are going to talk about family planning. Um, we had started the topic before, yeah. so today mm -hmm. we are going to talk about long-term uh, family planning methods. Okay. Now, we have the, the other ones mm -hmm. that are actually hormonal, okay? Hormonal in essence that they have hormones in them. Okay. Also, um, IUCD. Mm -hmm. But with Nini, this one seems to be coming out. So an example is Mirena, mm -hmm. uh, which is very common. Um, it's It has hormones in them. Mm -hmm. And the hormonal one, unlike this other one, it takes, uh, prevents pregnancy for five years. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. It's five year mm -hmm. device. Okay. This is how it looks. Okay. You can see there is the ruler as well in centimeters. So we'll still measure mm -hmm. our our length okay. and then uh, compare it with this one mm -hmm. and ensure that we have the same. Okay. So insertion is still the same. Mm -hmm. This has to close, mm -hmm. uh, goes in like this and then still opens inside. Huh? It goes on, it goes in like this. Mm -hmm. It's it's more of plastic, mm -hmm. but the hormone is inside here. Yeah. So once it's inserted, mm -hmm. um, still now this one will be releasing the hormones, okay? Slowly, slowly, slowly by for, by, the for the five years. Okay. Yeah, so mm -hmm. some people will opt for non-hormonal, non others will want hormonal. Mm -hmm. The mode of uh, action is more or less the same because they will, they inserted, will do the normal checkups. Mm -hmm. Three months after insertion, we'll mm -hmm. still ask you to come back okay. mm -hmm. for just for checkup check to up. see that the the nini the the IUCD is in place. Okay. Yeah, we do that using uh, an ultrasound. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. So they're good methods mm -hmm. and long terms <laughs> in that you're able to forget. Yeah. So women come. Mm -hmm. Uh, you put it for like two years, mm -hmm. you remove it, get a baby, mm -hmm. come again, put mm -hmm. it for another, mm -hmm. yes, mm -hmm. yeah. So it's not necessarily because uh, probably the IUDs are for 10 or 5 years, so it's not necessarily a month that I do the 10 years. Not at all. Okay. You can always have it, even for 6 months or mm -hmm. whatever time, and then when you are ready, mm -hmm. you remove it I think at I your convenience. Short, 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 convenient time. Yeah, all right. Yeah. Okay. Any other thing that you want to add? Maybe I would want to talk about mm -hmm. the two okay. in terms of we've had um, people say that mm -hmm. sometimes the the IUD is misplaced, it goes to the stomach and I don't know. <laughs> uh, please uh, just get it right. That's, that's a myth. Mm -hmm. Because like you've seen, we measure to know what mm -hmm. to what extent we mm -hmm. are in. Mm -hmm. And therefore, um, there's no likelihood mm -hmm. of it actually going to the mm -hmm. to the liver, going to I don't know where. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a myth. Okay. And then also, uh, we've had women uh, conceive mm -hmm. while having a UD. Yeah. So normally, in such cases, mm -hmm. because like we say, there's that one percent yeah. failure. Mm -hmm. So when we have such, and you know, you've conceived while you're using any of this, mm -hmm. it's always important to come back to the hospital. During the early uh, periods of your pregnancy, mm -hmm. if uh, you've actually conceived and you have the IUD, mm -hmm. sometimes they try to retrieve it, okay? okay? And they'll use the guided um, mm -hmm. 
machines, oh. they are ultrasound guided. Mm-hmm. So then they actually see exactly where they're going to remove, mm-hmm. use the machine to retrieve it. Mm-hmm. But um, in certain cases whereby the IUD is, um, is in a place whereby removing it might also uh, injure the, the pregnancy. Yeah, pregnancy or the baby, mm-hmm. then it's left. Okay. So we wait until she gives birth and then we get it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm. Thank you so much for that. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for educating us on all the uh, family planning methods. Yes. It's been quite uh, uh, great, and let me say an eye opener. Yeah. As 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 you put it at the beginning of our of the series, I mean, family planning was not a topic that could even be spoken to to the public, but mm. we are now doing it and just informing people about that. Yeah. So I appreciate that, yes. and I also appreciate uh, Janice. Uh, medical hospital so much for the for the opportunity yes all right okay. thank you so much and i hope that uh, you've been able to learn all throughout this particular series we've looked at quite a number of our family planning method and in case this is the first one that you're looking at just to make sure that uh, you also are just following up on the rest we've looked at the short-term methods we've looked at the natural methods we've also looked at the long-term family planning once again thank you so much please do not forget to subscribe to my youtube channel we'll have more opportunities to continue learning on different health matters a special thanks that is to janice medical and cancer hospital just to let you know that it is located at a sunview estate that is just opposite kenyatta market once again asante sana my name is aida muzati i am a health and science journalist 